Hello everyone, my name is Robert Franz and I am the Artistic Director of Boise Baroque Orchestra. Now, the reason I'm so clear with the title Artistic Director is because question number 15 is this. What is in a title when it comes to a conductor? You've heard and seen conductors with all sorts of titles. So first of all, there's music director, there's artistic director, artistic advisor, resident conductor, associate conductor, assistant conductor, and then there's the term maestro. So let's start with maestro. Maestro literally means teacher, and it is a title of respect and a title of professionalism that quite often musicians will use with conductors. Excuse me, maestro, where did you say we're going to start? It's kind of like if you went into the hospital to see your doctor, you wouldn't say, Fred, are you going to do the test now? You would say, doctor, are you now going to give me the test? That's the exact same process and the exact same idea, maestro. So sometimes people do turn it into a noun, the maestro, but basically it's a title, maestro Robert Franz. Now, all of these titles, they sort of, some of them come in a bit of a hierarchy uh, and some of them are sort of equal and not clear. So I'll try to make it as clear as I can <laughs> in its unclarity. Clarity. So uh, music director, artistic director are here. These are the titles of the folks like myself who are the artistic leaders of the organization. Honestly, artistic director and music director are interchangeable. It doesn't really matter. Different orchestras use different titles. Music director tends to connect with conductors who are conductors of symphony orchestras uh, because they tend to conduct most of the concerts and also decide what music is being performed and how the concert programs are going to lay out. Artistic directors sometimes conduct less often than the music directors. And that's why at the Boise Baroque Orchestra, we went with the artistic di director title because I will be conducting currently three of the five concerts that we do. The other two concerts will be led one by the musicians themselves and one by a guest concert master or guest leader within the orchestra who is a specialist in Baroque style and technique. And that's kind of how we're laying out our seasons for the foreseeable future. So we felt like artistic director was a little bit broader than music director since I won't be conducting every concert like you would sort of expect a music director to do. Then there is this a title called Artistic Advisor. And I originally had that title with the Boise Baroque Orchestra in my first season because the Boise Baroque Orchestra was going through a transition and wasn't sure who would be their next director. And we all wanted to kind of just check things out and try it out and kind of get to know each other. It's very interesting being an artistic leader of an orchestra. It's very much uh, like a marriage. It's like you have to have the right chemistry with the musicians. Now, I had a leg up with this because many of the musicians I knew from my prior work here in Boise, but still we wanted to see if this, this new role and this new position was the right fit for everyone involved. And I'm happy to report that after a year of working together, we're thrilled working with each other. And I have accepted the position of artistic director now, not artistic advisor, which is sort of a temporary role, but artistic director, which is a more permanent role with the Boise Baroque Orchestra. Now to go back over here for a second, those are the main titles. Underneath the music director, there are roles like resident conductor, associate conductor, assistant conductor. All of those roles and all of those titles depending on the orchestra can be interchangeable, but basically they all signify a, in a, another conductor that is underneath the artistic head of the orchestra that does part of the concerts of the orchestra and is led by that director, whether it be an artistic director or a music director. I think that pretty much explains it, but here's the most important part. If you can't remember whether I'm the artistic director or the music director or the resident conductor or you don't want to call me maestro, Robert works just fine. 